Hey guys, I'm Chris Cox from MakeYourBandFamous.com. Today I'm going to teach you how you can set up a pretty good looking website for your band, for your music in under 15 minutes and for next to free. Um, I'm going to set up the timer, you can see it right over there and we're going to get going. And um, I think you're going to enjoy this. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing you need when you're getting started out online is you need a place that you can put your website. You need some web hosting. So I, I run a bunch of different websites online and I almost always use justhost.com um, and that's because they're pretty much the cheapest uh, hosting online and they're rock solid, they're reliable, um, the support is pretty good. Um, if you're getting like a million visitors a day, it's probably not the right thing for you. But if you're getting like a thousand, twenty thousand, those sort of numbers, for most of us little guys, it's pretty damn good. Um, Alright, so we head over here, click sign up now. You get a free domain when you when you start out over here. Um, we'll call it awesomebandwebsite.com. Um, click continue. Now I've already got a domain, so I, I, I don't need this, this stuff. You, you can just fill in this form, fill all that out right over there. Uh, put in your PayPal or your credit card details, however you want to pay. Um, choose how you want to be billed every month, every six months, every 60 months, and then you hit complete. When you hit complete, um, they're going to send you an email um, with your login details and your password, and that's going to take you to your control panel of your, your web hosting. Now, um, that's important. You can call it your C panel. So it'll be uh, your, your website.com forward slash C panel. Um, so we go over there, um, there'll be a link in the email, it'll send you right over there for you. And here we go. This is my cPanel. Now don't get don't get um, overwhelmed. I know it looks a little bit scary, a little bit crazy. Um, there's a lot of buttons. There's only really two that you need to care about. And don't <laughs> not not to be rude, but don't get duped by do just hosts uh, weird offers like you've been selected to upgrade to platinum status or whatever. Just host hosting is very very cheap. It's very very good. The offers that they sell you on the back end, not always that good value. Um, so the two things that we need to care about, um, your email accounts, that one right over here. If you want to get Johnny at um, myawesomebandwebsite.com, that's where you want to go to set it up. The other thing, because we don't want to set up email right now, we want to set up a website. The other thing that we care about is WordPress. WordPress is free and it's simple. It's, in my opinion, the very, very easiest way to set up a website online. So we're going to click right over there, bang, go through to website, WordPress, set up a new installation. If it feels like I'm going through this stuff real fast, guys, I'm going to go through it slow, slower in some um, videos to come. Um, I just want you to get the idea um, of what can be done. And, um, you know, we're going to iron out questions as you reply in your comments and what have you. And, you know, I'll, I'll post follow up videos to this. All right, so we're going to set up admin. Some top security, I'll choose my password to be password. <laughs> All right, um, don't even try logging in with this, I'm gonna change it. Um, and here we go support music marketing money system.com, that's my email. And what should we call this website? Free musician website in 15 minutes. It's fast, cheap, and fun. Okay, we go install. That's going to be the address where our website's going to be. Click Finish Installation. Let's have a look at the website we've just installed. Come on, baby. Okay, so there's the website we've just installed. It's a little bit grotty, it's a little bit ugly, but you've just installed the website, and that's been, we've, we've taken four minutes. Over the next five minutes, we're going to make this website look a lot prettier, and I'm going to show you how it all works. First thing to notice right over here, guys, is posts. Now posts are fast moving content. These are blog posts. So you, you know you might have a post today, um, wow we had such a cool weekend, uh, we did some gigs, blah 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 blah. Tomorrow you might have another post saying um, look at these cool photos from our holiday um, and the next day you might have another post. So posts are fast moving. Then you've got pages over here like home, about, contact us and these are slow moving. This is often static content that um, will stick around, you know, you only change your about page every six months or every month, every year or every two years. Um, so it's a lot slower moving. 
Okay, let's get into the admin area. Uh, there's a link here. It says go to your admin area. I'm admin. I'll use my top secret secure password or password. And we log in here. Okay, so set, let's set up a new page. We'll set up your contact us page right here. Oh, contact us. Okay, I'm going to publish that. And let's jump back there. And would you look at that? We've suddenly got a brand new page over there. One click, new page. Now, of course, I didn't write anything over there, so there's no content in it. Um, now, let's fix that. Let's put a little form in over there. You don't need to do any coding. You don't need to know anything about it. All you want to do is just go plugins, add a new plugin. There's millions of these guys writing free, free plugins that um, just offer all kinds of functionality to your site with a couple of clicks. The one we want is contact form 7. So I'll click that. Do install now. Yep, okay. Activate plugin. And I'm just going to copy the code over here. Um, all this kind of details over here. This is the, the back end. This is what makes the form work. It tells it what fields you want in the form, all that kind of stuff. I never change it. Um, because almost every time it's it's usually good enough as it is. Okay, so now let's go back to the contact us uh, page. I'm gonna paste this code, and let's see what happens. Now oh, they've pasted that. Hey, would you look at that? All of a sudden we've got a snazzy contact form, and you've done just about nothing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now your fans and visitors can come over, and they can leave you a message right over here. And you haven't had to do any kind of coding. But the problem is our site's still looking pretty grody, isn't it? It's not looking great. <laughs> Let's fix that right now. Okay, so we're going to go appearance. Cool thing with WordPress is there's also hundreds and thousands of these guys creating free themes. And a theme basically changes the entire look and feel of your website um, in one click, you don't need to do any graphic design, you don't need to know any of that stuff. Okay, so let's go over here, we're going to go install themes. Um, let's let's search for themes based on features, and we'll go, we want an orange and black theme, right? Okay, we're going to find those. Now it returns all the themes that have orange and black in it. And there's different criteria you can search for, but, so, you know, this will give you a basic idea. That one looks okay, let's have a preview. Oh, okay, that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to go install this bad boy, Inferno. Install now. Let's go activate. Now I want you to see right now what, what happens immediately to the way our website looks. I'm just refreshing that. Hey, look at that. Much better, isn't it? And there are much prettier websites, uh, WordPress themes that you can get um, too. This is just one of the the standard ones, I mean, we found that in like six seconds. Um, if you wanted to spend a little bit more effort, you do WordPress themes, musicians, or something to that effect. Um, and, and you can find a bunch of them pretty easily. Um, I mean, there's dozens of these things that guys create all day, every day. This is what they do, and they, they make pretty themes for people like you and me to, to start using. I mean, you can see that's, that's all right. Um, and you don't have to do any of the graphic design behind this. Okay, let's go on. So now next thing, let's um, fix up the way that sidebar looks. You can see this over here. I'm not a fan of all this stuff going on over here. It's kind of cramping my style. <laughs> I'm going to take that out for us. So, wait, let's have a look. First thing I think that we need, we need pages. This is nice. It's for a bit of navigation. Your visitors can work out where they're going to want to be. And categories. Categories are nice. So say you write a blog post on gigs, you put it in a gigs category, and then every blog post that you write about a gig, if you write a gig, if you if you write about a gig today, if you write about another gig in two months, if you write another, about another gig in six months, they'll all be in that gigs category. So it's easy for your visitors to find. You can do the same thing with lifestyle, with um, you know, whatever you want to do, you can get creative like that. Um, all right, so let's. Set this all up. I'm going to change those widgets on the sidebar. I'm sorry if I'm being a bit confusing jumping around like this. Again, I will go through all of this stuff a lot slower for you. 
in some follow-up vid videos. Here we go, we're going to put the pages widget over there. We'll call it navigation. All right, save that. That's nice. Put the categories widget over there. Found it, luckily I'm lit literate. Well, only some of the time, but you know, partially literate at least, that's not bad. And um, another cool thing that you can do is you can add in random arbitrary text. Um, and this also doubles as HTML. So I'm just going to put in some arbitrary text so that you can kind of get a feel for what um, you could do. But you can put in images here and all kinds of stuff. Um, it, it's up to you, really. If you can code in HTML, the sky's the limit. All right, so let's put that down. And have a look over here. Watch how this changes when I refresh it. Have a look at that. So you can really customize the look and feel of this thing extremely, extremely easily uh, without putting in much effort at all. Next thing I want to show you for today, before we wrapped up today's session and we head on to something else um, and we create those follow-up videos for you, is I want to show you how to add posts and how easy it is to create content for this, this side of yours. All right, so let's head over here and add a new post and we'll call it my first gig. And um, I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going <laughs> to you see another example of that brilliant writing. Um, this is. Right, and we'll put this in the gig category. All you got to do to add a category is you just type gigs, and then you go add new category, and it creates it. And we go publish. Here we go. Let's do a quick refresh. Let's see what this looks like now. You've got a category called gigs now. You see that? Here we go, gigs. And you've got that post set up right over there that you created. That's how easy it is. Go to your home page and you can see that post sitting right over there. Um, all right, let's, let's create another one um, so you can get a better feel for this. We'll call this, what should we call it? My Weekend. And, um, I'll put an image in here so you can get an idea of how easy it is to add images to these posts too. Right, and use the bad pigeons one. Uh, this is a photo I took when we were out in Venice. Apparently they don't like pigeons very much that part of the world. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to insert this. All right, and uh, underneath that image, I'm going to say this is some text, so you can see that too. And we'll put this in the lifestyle category, bang, do publish. Okay, let's refresh this home page. You can see now you've got a lifestyle category, and there is your post that you've just written. Click right over here. What a great post. Your visitors can already comment. You don't need to code anything. It's already built in. Just click submit comment, and you're off to the races. There we go. Cool, eh? All right, guys. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed that. It's been 13 minutes of great websiteing action. Um, we haven't even scratched the surface here. There's so much cool stuff that you can do with just the way that we've done it. The click of a button, you can insert music players, you can insert um, opt-in boxes so people can join your newsletters, um, your email newsletters, you can insert links to your MySpace, your Facebook, your YouTube, your Twitter. It's all so easy. It's all almost all free. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, please let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd really appreciate if you like the if you click the like button if you liked it. And yeah, um, leave your comments and your thoughts and your questions uh, in the comments below. And um, I'll do my best to get back to them and to reply to you and uh, create follow-up videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers now. Bye bye.